other space has been buzzing around. If you just pull up the T space, some of these stocks have done have done very very well in the last couple of days. The likes of Jayshree T as well has done well. We have Russell India as well that has done well in the last couple of days. In fact, these stocks, yes, something like Jayshree T has given returns of 27 percent. Russell India as well has done fairly well in the last couple of trading sessions. And McLeod Russell as well, as we saw in yesterday's uh, trading session, late in trade. All these stocks, they did uh, spike up. So currently, let's uh, touch base then with a couple of managements. We're joined by Mr. Bedi, uh, the MD of Russell India, as well as uh, Mr. Kamal Bayati, the CFO of McLeod Russell, who joins us uh, on the phone line. Hi, Mr. Bayati. Thanks so much uh, for joining. And let's start off uh, with you first. Uh, we have seen that uh, ASM uh, T prices have hit a record high of more than 500 uh, rupees per kg. Could you tell us, um, you expect this trend to continue? What kind of impact? Can it, have, can it have uh, on your revenues uh, for FI17 uh, itself? No, Nigel, before we really move forward, let me clarify. These are one-off cases where the 500 rupees per kg price is come. These are not the average prices. Okay. These are the second plus the best quality teas normally fetch much higher prices than what they fetch in the month of April uh, and May. Okay. So, you know, these are the normal trends. The real question is that in last two, three years, the tea prices have not moved at all. In mm. fact, they have remained more or less, less flat. The beginning had been good, and we believe that going forward, the prices will keep on moving higher. All right. July to October are peak production months, and if the peak prices trend continues to be there, there we believe will be more traction and the profitability impact on the peak outcomes. All right. Uh, Mr. Bethe, could you tell us what's the best case scenario then? Where do you see these uh, prices headed? Uh, okay, let's get back to this discussion on uh, tea prices. But for the time being, let's cut across to Finance Minister Arun Chetli. He's meeting with uh, the State Finance Minister's panel for uh, the GST uh, discussion in uh, Kolkata. So here are some visuals that are coming there. Remember, all the State Finance Ministers are meeting. We have uh, the Mr. Amit uh, Mitra as well, uh, uh, the Kolkata fi Finance Minister that's uh, there for you on the screen, and uh, Mr. Jaitley as well will be there. We're waiting for, imp uh, importantly, to hear what, what comes out of there in terms of the draft GST bill as well, the guidelines as well. There is hope that maybe uh, that we could see the passage uh, in the next uh, session as well. We'll keep cutting over there and try to get out what exactly is happening on that front. But as you can see up for you on the screen, all those finance ministers of various states sitting together, putting their heads together. Let's hope we do get uh, at least the draft ready, and then it's up to Parliament House, really, to get the numbers and push that through as well. But uh, I think we can cut uh, back there as and when something really uh, comes out of there for the time being. I think let's get back uh, to our tea discussion uh, then. Uh, Mr. Bethe, you know, you were telling us that you're expecting, you know, the crucial part is in July as well as uh, to that October period. So in the best case scenario, where do you see prices headed? That's question number one. And also you said that prices didn't move, you know, in the, uh, in the last, uh, in the recent past. So for FY17, what can a kind of impact uh, can we see on your revenues? It's up more than around 16, 17% in the last fiscal year. This year, if things improve and in a blue case scenario, what kind of increase can we see? Nigel, if we have to really put in the perspective, last two years it was not only that the prices did not go up, we mm. lost a lot of crop and the yeah. cost has gone up mainly on the wage side. Okay. This year the wage increase is going to be nominal and the weather conditions look fairly good. Mm. So we should be able to recover the crop itself. That will take care of the cost increases. So any increase in prices will reflect at the EBITDA margins. We right. did uh, drop it from 19 odd percent to around 9 percent. Our expectation is that around 10 percent increase in the tea prices will take it to around 13, 14 percent this year. All right. 30, uh, the, so you're expecting margins to go to 13, 14 percent? Yes, from 8, 9 percent of the last year. Oh, that's fairly uh, positive comedy that's coming in there. But let's uh, get to Mr. Bedi then. Uh, hi, Mr. Bedi. Thanks so much uh, for joining hi. in. Uh, Yesterday, we did see Russell India, the stock really, uh, you know, flared up uh, in trade. Now, in the last fiscal, if I just take a look at your numbers from your tea business, manufacturing of tea, you did roughly around 121 crores or thereabouts. Now, with these tea prices moving higher, what kind of impact can it have on your tea revenues in FY17? And also, could you tell us, in terms of margins, what kind of impact uh, can it have? As you were telling us the last time around, you all produce fairly high-quality uh, tea as well. Well, I, I think the market has clearly uh, always rewarded quality. And as far as we see it, we see a sustained improvement. But one, I would agree with uh, Mr. Behati too, that at the end of the day, the costs are also going up and naturally crops depend, uh, the f eventual uh, financials depend also on what kind of cropping we have. But we are quite confident that we would like to, we would see the prices up by about 10% at least. It's a question of how we manage our costs. 
and and as you know a lot of costing and tea really is not out of wages but with everything else that we work out for our workers in kind so we see uh, we still are quite positive over how things uh, will pan out this year though for a start it's been a little weak start due to very wet conditions mr vedi but you know mr vedi also said that he's expecting margins uh, to improve by a goodish bit for rossel india can we see margins improve maybe around 200 basis points 300 basis points uh, uh, mr vedi said that any kind of price increases really will flow directly into the margins as well because this time around wage prices are not going to go up as much for rossel india can we see prices uh, move higher yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, I i think i think uh, definitely we we should be looking at a better year okay definitely yeah but can you give us some no, numbers no doubt about that some numbers well <laughs> I, i i wouldn't venture as much as mr beti would because we have actually as per, we have sold out more than 3% of our crop okay so there's a lot to uh, there's a, a, a long road ahead uh, but i am confident because i think you are one as have confidence in his availability uh, his own ability hmm. rather than um, what else may be thrown at you uh, oh. from other sources all yeah. right mr beti let's get you into this uh, final question then uh, could you tell us what's the crop acreage status uh, in india and also give us uh, uh, what's the difference between domestic tea prices as well as go- global tea prices See, normally the global tea prices do move in tandem with India, but okay. in last couple of years we had seen that it did not move in line. Last year there was a crop loss in Kenya, and the Kenyan prices went up by 25 percent. We did not see much increase in prices in India. Okay. But I think this year again we had seen a very good production coming from Kenya. The prices dropping, but Indian prices actually gradually going up. Mm-hmm. So I think there is some connectivity, but not on every year on year basis. but the best part which we have seen in last couple of weeks is that the tea prices both in india in kenya despite very high crop in kenya they started moving up last few weeks has seen around 25 30 cents increase in kenyan auctions we had also seen tea prices going up in the indian auctions as we go into the peak season and the overall monsoon in the country really picks up and the demand comes up i see no reason why we'll see higher prices going into the peak season from july to october i agree there is a long road ahead of us but i think the going looks better than what it has been last there in last couple of years all right mr beti as well as uh, mr beti thanks so much for joining in and giving us that outlook so we have uh, 